Hey folks, it's Reggie Lau here, Be the Smart Investor, another terrific interview. In the studio today, my friend, James Kaplman, Upper Hand Marketing. Hey James, welcome. Hey Reggie, thanks for having me. Oh, it's great, it's great, it's going to be a terrific interview. James, what exactly, Upper Hand, what do you guys do? We do uh, direct mail marketing campaigns um, for real estate investors and other business owners. Terrific. If you would, James, share with us, what exactly is direct mail? We hear that term a lot. What is it? Yeah, sure. Direct mail is when we... Uh, um, you mail a marketing piece okay. to a specific mailing list okay. to get a specific response. Wow, that sounds kind of like um, a little bit of a campaign. We'll get to that in a minute. Who might use direct mail? What kinds of people might use it? We do uh, uh, marketing campaigns for real estate investors, okay. uh, realtors, right. um, all kinds of different business owners uh, just looking to grow their business. They do it doing a mailer typically. We call that in the business a campaign. What exactly is a campaign? Sure. Uh, a campaign is uh, a specific mailing list with a specific letter mailed uh, in a set frequency. Wow, that's exactly it. We actually did a mailer with you guys oh, a couple months back, got an amazing response. We had targeted an area where we uh, bought a home in there and we went after short sales in the same neighborhood because we liked the area. That we targeted a mailer got a great response. Um, what kind of response can you typically expect? Uh, our letters are getting between a, a five and, and sometimes as high as a ten percent response rate. Wow, that is amazing. Because anything, if you've done direct mail, you know, anything over two percent, phenomenal. If you're getting five to ten, what's the secret now? What's the secret sauce? Come on, you got to share it with us. We want to tell off. Okay. Well, I mean, the secret sauce is is all of our letters are in hand addressed envelopes. Wow. We actually have real people that hand address every okay. single envelope. Uh -huh. um, and, we, and we mail handwritten yellow letters. That, we, that James, we've heard that term a bunch, yellow letter. What exactly is that for those of us that might not have done one or seen? Let's go, do you have an example? Yeah, what, yeah, I've got a couple of examples. Okay, what is a yellow letter? We've heard that term. So yeah, I mean, that we've got, um, a yellow letter is really just simply a, a we use yellow paper. Okay. We use, um, I, we have real people that, that hand write out. Handwritten. Handwritten. that thing. Sure. That looks pretty real, folks. Uh, I noticed you're using some very short copy. Uh, dear whomever, homeowner, that's where the list will come in. We'll talk about that in a bit. Our names are uh, Brian and Amy. We would like to buy your house at 123 Elm Street or wherever. Please call us. Thanks, Brian and Amy. And that's it. Yeah, short, simple, sweet. Now, why are you using short copy versus long copy? Because people read it. And uh, when you do marketing pieces, that's the most important thing is, is that people right, that gets right. read. Because as you and I know, what do most people do? They get a bunch of mail, they open it up right over the garbage can, and in it goes, right? Exactly. They don't bother to open it, right? Yeah, exactly. So with the yellow letter, we have a chance, better chance of getting read. Much, much better chance of getting which read. Which means they might actually call you, hopefully. Which, uh, is, which is how you get a much better response. Rate. Absolutely. Dear homeowner, obviously we're going to put in the person's real name. I'm a local investor looking to purchase a home in your neighborhood. If you're interested in selling your property at 123 Elm Street, please give me a call or email me. Thanks, Steve. Another one that I'm looking to buy your house. Here's one that says uh, connections with some developers who may be interested in developing your property, uh, partnering with a developer to do amazing profits, give me a call about your property, uh, acquisition manager for a small real estate company, uh, we're looking to acquire commercial property in your area, I'd like to discuss that opportunity, give me a call. Pretty cool stuff, folks. I've got to tell you, this stuff really works. Stick around, we're going to dig more into who to mail to, what a list is, a good campaign. Part two coming up.